How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client flew in for the next two days to complete his full sleeve. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. How you doing, brother? I'm glad you're back, man. I'm, I'm stoked. I don't know what we're going to be doing. But I know it's going to be epic, 100%. Huh? But it's uh, a Ganesh. It's like the elephant oh. face. Oh, oh, oh. That will be amazing. It kind of fits like the, the theme a little bit of what we yes. were trying to do. It definitely you know, does. With, uh, the meaning of my sleeve is about, you know, like exactly. getting through all my battles and, you know, knocking down all those barriers and those walls. Right here. I just saw that image right here. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> sick. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, I am... I'm so stoked. It's a, it is exactly the same thing. With like the headdress. Yeah, the headdress. Head just the like wrinkles going down its face. And, and it looks like stone. So yeah. it's, it's going to go with everything that's you crazy. have. It's pretty awesome. I, dude, that's so sick. I'm, I'm just, I've been looking forward to this project. The last, since we booked you, I, uh, I was already looking forward to it. And I even told Marcos, I was like, yo, guess what's coming this Monday? <laughs> and I said, this whole experience is insane. I say, <laughs> go down. You all want to meet with you. You go out to breakfast or lunch, whatever. And it's just a whole vibe of it. Yes. And I say, then the next two days of tattooing and how all that goes, I said, it is like nothing I've ever experienced at a tattoo yeah. shop. Either. And I always say that. I mean, I feel like when artists see like a tattoo just as a transaction rather than a relationship, I think that's where it becomes a problem, right? Because I feel like that's like most you, shops. You put in, you're putting something permanent on that person. And why don't you take the time to get to know the person? That's why I only book limited amount of people because I want to be invested. It's a core memory. You know, yeah. you'll carry this for the rest of your life. Just stay like kind of bouncing around when I came out last time, you know? Really? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I kind of have a little bit of a story about it. I've been an addict most of my life okay. and uh, I got locked up and did quite a bit of time and I got out, changed my life around. So. Kind of theme was like, you know, that's like my addiction okay. and like... So the demons are the yeah, addiction, yeah. okay. Kind of like just the, uh, you know, stuff that I battle on a daily mm -hmm. basis, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I got uh, seven years clean and stuff now. So. Oh man, congratulations. And now, like, right now, I'm in the process of buying a house. Oh! Like, if someone would have told me that, like, even up until like a year ago, I would never even thought that, like, I would be buying my own house, you know. I'm just glad that I, I wake up every, yes. every day and mainly. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I got a good support system around me, and it's crazy. It's like, because it's not the people that I, like, grew up with. It's not not really even my family, but um, just having the relationships I have with people now and uh, the trust that I've built with people and just, yeah, just being the, able to live life every day. It's time. Yeah. It is time indeed. <laughs> Oh, you're matching your, the sweaters with the pants? Oh, man. <laughs> Fashionable. Nada más difícil que vivir sin ti. Did you do anything exciting last night? No. No. I was tired. <laughs> you went straight to sleep? I, I was tired. No way. I, took a, I even took a nap. You just got some food and knocked out. Yeah. You nap, ate, sleep. Yep. Flower on the top of the inner bicep will be just enough to like complete it. Cause there's so much detail here that you just need something simple yeah. on the top. With the dark background, so that way the lotus flower stands out. Okay. It's gonna look so sick. I'm like contemplating if I should incorporate the feet too. It fits, so that's good. I definitely don't like how the face lands in the ditch of the, the arm though. Maybe if I can just, there you go. With putting on this stencil, what I want to do is make sure that the feet land right in that middle of the wrist, lined up with the other side. Nice. Wow, man. That looks amazing. Ah, let's get a sign. 
For this project, what I want to do is just use solid black. That's it. I love the way his outer sleeve healed up, so I want to continue with the same style of just using nothing but solid black. What I don't want is make everything look flat, so I want to control my contrast and my highlights across the whole thing. I'm excited. It has a whole bunch of detail. I have my 7 rod liner ready to go, and I'm going to be packing it in throughout the whole thing. I'm going to start here on the bottom and see how far I get today. My goal is to at least get all the way up here to the forehead area of the elephant and leave the headdress for tomorrow so I can do the peony flower or lotus. We still gotta figure that one out and uh, do the headdress. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm here on the feet, I'm gonna start applying my contrast using the scribble technique. And I wanna make it as dark as I can, but not solid black. I wanna be able to see some dimension to it. So I'm gonna lightly start applying my scribble technique, step back and make sure that it looks dark, but not completely black. To execute the feet, of the statue, uh, I have to be very careful with how much highlight I put on it. There's so much dark behind it and around it that I want to make sure that I that I make the feet very visible and legible. All right, so I'm starting here on the bottom and very um, gently. Um, um, doing the scribble technique. I don't want to go too dark. I just want to start putting down my my darkest area of the feet. Adding this contrast under under every toe. Separate them a little bit a little bit easier and the contrast is going to be way better. I already laid down the first layer of black and I feel like I can go a little bit darker on the bottom. So I'm going to darken up the bottom of the foot that way the top of the foot glows. How you feeling? Good. Good? My fingers feel like big old sausages. Because <laughs> it's all swollen, all tingly, getting numb. Ah, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not the best position, you know what I mean? Because I got to press on your forearm. Yeah, check it out. Man, like press down, I think. Let it turn on for a little bit. Other than that, it feels good. Look at them feet. Looking all chunky. <laughs> It like blended in perfect. It too, did, it really blended in perfect. It's a nice transition. Give it two more hours and be down the All right, that's a good stretch. Let's get back to it. Uh. On the belly area, there is a lot of open space. So what I want to do is add a lot of contrast just on the bottom and kind of figure out how much shading can I add throughout. I don't want to make the belly look like, uh, like it's incompleted because I didn't add enough shading. So I want to add just enough to make it look nice and uh, full. It's a tricky area, but I'm gonna I'm a play with it. I'm gonna add a little bit of, uh, you know, little areas that are cracked, things like that. So here we have uh, a swirl coming from behind the other piece. So I'm gonna make it look like it's going behind the necklace and around here. So that way give it like more of a flow, give it like a, it's a puzzle piece where I'm connecting it together. So it's gonna be fun. I'm, I, I gotta be careful with this. I can't be too aggressive with it. I gotta take my time because it gotta look soft. It gotta look very subtle. It can't be center of attention. It has to be something that's in the background where your eye can see when you look at it. Doing this part of the trunks, uh, it's uh, one of those areas that I've been looking forward to since I started this piece. Uh, the wrinkles on it, the texture, and the amount of contrast that it has. It's just fun, it's fun to, uh, to do. And I'm, I'm looking at my reference, but I kind of want to do my own thing to figure out how to make it stand out more. Uh, on, the, on my reference, it's a little too light for me, and I want to add more contrast. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this area. Coming in today, I was pretty excited just because uh, I was wanting to 
finally finished my arm. It, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I just am super stoked that uh, it came together as good as it has and uh, it feels good to have it finally complete. Day one was extremely easy. I had a lot of fun. I love the concept and the placement and it fits so perfectly and throughout the day it was connecting to the other side so naturally and I'm just excited for day two. I'm going to complete the whole inner sleeve and it's going to look amazing. Let's go son! <laughs> Gotta find the right song to uh, get, the, get this day started. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to turn that shit up. Let's get it. Hasta la quince. Does it, is it, is it uh, a little sore or nothing? Not really. It was like tight last night, but... Oh, okay. Okay. Let's get it. We're going to continue the inner sleeve today on day two. We have the face of the elephants, the halo on the top. And on the gap that we have right here, I'm going to be adding a mandala that's going to just connect everything together. We're going to finish on a good time, so you can go have a <laughs> dinner with your friend. Let's get it. Okay, it's so sick. I wanna see. Instead of trying to hold my head up and shit, I'm like, I'm not trying. I'm gonna wanna get a cooking neck. What is that? What is that, bro? It's... Like the lower I got, the better it felt. So I just kept dropping <laughs> slowly. And I was like, fine. I'm a... <laughs> That's a one service, bro. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the last time he came, uh, like I did here, I started doing little swirls to connect it to make it look like we planned it in advance and that everything was connected. So for, th for this area, I never really connected it because I knew I was going to use it in the future. So with that, now I know how I'm going to use it. All I'm going to do is connect it and make it look like this is behind it. much I'm done with the bottom piece we tested out two different kind of flowers I didn't really like the way it was looking it was giving me bad vibes so I ended up switching the design to doing a Mandela I'm so sorry. I'm so Fuck. sorry. How you feel? Dizzy? Yeah? I'm gonna have you lay down real quick. I'll get you sugar. Nauseous? Okay, just dizzy. Done. The inner is done. I don't gotta go back. <laughs> it's just the back of the tricep, which is like this, this right here. You made it. It's just five more minutes. Take your time. If you wanna throw up, let me know. I got you. I'll throw up with you. <laughs> Oh man, don't you feel Fuck. good about yourself? <laughs> Accomplished? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I got my whole I'm... top of my foot tattooed, uh -huh. and I thought that fucking hurt. That's all on bone. That doesn't even come close to that. Holy fuck. <laughs> Coming in today, I was super excited, you know, uh, knowing that it was gonna get wrapped up and I'd see the final product. 
and it'd be complete. So I was super excited. Initially, I came down here not even really knowing what I was gonna get. Um, it's just something that, you know, last time when I came down and did my outer sleeve, like uh, some ideas got changed around and I just trusted Kevin with what his abilities to, you know, the work he does. This is like no other tattoo experience ever. Like I told you guys this when I came down and we met for breakfast, like this is a whole experience. It's not just walking in and getting a tattoo from somebody, you know, uh, Kevin and you guys really get to know, your, know, know us and anybody and everybody that's out there that has thought about doing it, I would recommend trying to do it. Like it's, it's, it's such a crazy experience and you know, I'm a customer for life. Having my client come back to finish up the full sleeve is honestly one of those projects that I've been looking forward to. And I'm very, very satisfied that way this one showed up. I got I got nervous I got, on the second one. Very does the job. Yeah, I know. <laughs> very, very <laughs> I know. Huh? I'm just that I'm just that excited, bro, to show this project. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, no, you just, just let it happen. Uh, having my client come back to finish up the full sleeve is honestly one of those projects that I've been looking forward to. And I'm very satisfied the way this project turned out. And I was able to connect it to my client. So that makes it, <laughs> so that, makes it that much more meaningful. Cut. <laughs> so with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.